the senator from Illinois. I ask uh, unanimous consent to uh, suspend with the uh, time uh, limitation and continue for uh, uh, eight minutes uh, to eulogize Senator Percy. Is there objection? Without objection. Thank you. I want to thank my colleague from uh, Illinois, our senior senator, uh, Senator Durbin, and of course, uh, uh, Senator Rockefeller, related to the Percy family, uh, to eulogize uh, Senator Percy, who we lost on Saturday, uh, a great and one of the most uh, successful Illinois uh, senators. Senator Percy dedicated much of his life to serving our nation, first in the U.S. Navy and then for 18 years here in the U.S. Senate. I think I'm the only member of the Senate who actually voted uh, for Senator Percy and volunteered in his campaign along with my mom when I was only 12 years old. Senator Percy, uh, we knew, was a focused and disciplined leader who succeeded at nearly everything uh, that he put his mind to. He graduated from uh, my alma mater, uh, New Trier High School, and uh, also lived in Kenilworth, Illinois, my hometown. He later, uh, after graduating from New Trier, went to the University of Chicago, and after getting a bachelor's degree in economics, he uh, joined a small camera company called Bell & Howell. He then uh, led Bell & Howell starting at the age of only uh, 29 moving the company into uh, making military cameras and uh, movie projectors, and then a new product called microfilm. As the leader of Bell & Howell, he was one of our greatest job engines of the state of Illinois. Employment grew 12 times under his leadership and earnings 32 times. But Charles Percy wanted to do uh, more for his country. As we heard at the request of President Eisenhower, he helped write Better Decisions for America as part of the Republican platform of 1960. Charles Percy ran for governor in 1964, but he lost that election. In the not-so-proud tradition of Illinois, that governor then went to jail, and Percy became seen as a corruption fighter in our state. Now, just two years after that defeat, Charles Percy was elected by the people of Illinois to represent them in the United States Senate, defeating Paul Douglas. Now, during that campaign, his daughter Valerie was murdered in my hometown and his hometown of Kenilworth, one of our town's only uh, murders. And it was through this tragedy that we saw so clearly Charles Percy's quiet uh, dignity. In the Senate, Percy was first known as a proponent of a foundation to back home ownership for low-income families. He was the toast of this town in the 1960s, described by the New York Times as, quote, the hottest political article in the Republican Party. He even led polls in 1968 for the Republican nomination uh, for president. Senator Percy, though, was at heart he, an independent who took on corruption in his own state and especially his own party. He moved to the first resolution calling for an independent prosecutor on the Watergate scandal. The New York Times reported, quote, Nixon fumed to his cabinet that he would do all he could to make sure Mr. Percy, who already voted against two Nixon nominees for the Supreme Court, would never uh, become president. Senator Percy fought corruption wherever he saw it, and in 1977, he took on White House Budget Director Burt Lance for backdating checks to gain tax deductions, and Lance later resigned. Senator Percy was best known for his work as the chair of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee during historic times when the United States recovered its nerve, it stared down the Soviet Union, and it won the Cold War outright. He was a gentleman disciplined and swimming every day, and a devout Christian scientist who read the Bible each evening. Senator Percy was a strong, honest, and principled man whose integrity remained uncompromised in nearly 20 years in the U.S. Senate. He believed that accountability, checks and balances, and transparencies should be the driving force of government. We will miss his moderate, fiscally conservative brand of politics, his legacy is one of genteel, thoughtful leadership, and his fight against corruption in the state of Illinois is sorely missed today. 
I send my sincere condolences to Senator Percy's wife, Lorraine, and his children, Sharon, and Roger, and Gail, and Mark, and their spouses, including our colleague, Senator Rockefeller, and to the grandchildren and great-grandchildren, and many friends and family that will mark his passing at the funeral on, uh, on Wednesday. Senator Percy was one of the best-remembered Illinois senators. He represents a tradition, in some sense, followed by me. And as a former volunteer for his campaign and voter for him, we mark his loss today. And with that, Mr. President, I yield back.